Uh, you said he talked about magic and... what? Domesticated zombies? He talked about a group of people who don't get infected, even if they're bitten. Well, delirious people will say anything. He was holding this map when we brought him in. Whoa. Th th this looks like... A way out of Haran. Crane, we are running out of Antizin. We have to explore every possibility. We can't wait any longer. You don't understand the mother, the mother. Lena, do you copy? Crane, damn it. You're breaking up. Yeah, listen, your one-eyed delirious patient, he was telling the truth. There is a way out. Maybe what he said about people who don't turn is true. He died this morning, Kyle. The fever got him. You're on your own, I'm afraid. Lena? Lena! Yeah, the fucking mountains.
Place looks occupied, more or less. What do you want? I need to talk to someone in charge. I'm from Haran. Oh, you a smuggler? Do you work for that crook, huh? Look, I, I don't know anything about any smuggling, pal. I'm here just... I need some help. As for Jasir, but understand this. If you steal anything, you lose your hands. I've got my eye on you, stranger. Hi, uh, excuse me. I don't know anything. Look, could you just tell me where to find someone who does know something? Look for Jazir. He'll be inside the bar. Need something? Are you the one in charge? I need some help. Talk to Jazir. I forbid it! Father, please! Can't we talk no, about this? No, no! End of discussion! Fine! Fine! Eski! Wait! Eski! Ah, uh, excuse me. Not now, please! I don't mean to interrupt. I'm looking for Jazir. I am Jazir. But if you want food, we have only bread. No, no, I, I don't need food. Listen, I'm from Haran, and I've come because I've heard that there are people here who are immune to the virus, that they don't turn, even if they get bitten. Oh. And who told you this? A dead man, I'm sorry to say. You might as well keep listening to him. I'll tell you no more than he. Fucking hell, why won't anybody help me? The virus is all over the city. People are dying. And yet, you still live. Take some bread, my friend, and go back to Haran. No one wants you here. I told you to leave us. Lena, this is Crane. Do you copy? Damn it, what a fucking wasteland. Hey, yeah, you. Come here. Come on, come closer. I won't bite you. Don't worry. I ain't like the rest of these loonies. Yeah, I'm talking about you, you nut jobs. So you're not one of them? Then why aren't they trying to run you off? Because I sell more shit than just bread. My name's Khan, by the way. Kyle Crane. Hey, you're from Haran, right? Bet you ran into my optically challenged buddy. You mean the guy with an eye missing? Yeah, that's the one. My boy, Kurt. How's he doing? Oh, he, uh... Yeah, he, he didn't make it. Well, that's a damn shame. But, can't say I'm surprised. Maybe you can help me. Kurt said the people out here are immune to the virus. You know anything about that? Uh, now that you mention it, I don't remember any of the locals actually turning. Fucking wackos. They're in a damn cult, led by some woman they call the Mother. Used to be just a harmless local tradition, you know? They weren't serious about it. Well, they're goddamn serious these days. Ever since the outbreak. They scribble symbols everywhere, do these fucking rituals. I think they even pray to her. Yeah, but what about this whole not turning thing? They on Antizen or what? Listen, I'm short a man now. 
And since I'm an entrepreneur, let's do business. Partner up, you and me. Buying anything, friend? Freaks. A partnership you have in mind. Well, you need some information, and thanks to Kurt getting himself deceased, I need a driver with brains. I can show you something that might help you out, but we'll need to get some wheels first. You want a vehicle out here? Where am I supposed to find that? I'd look around the nearest farm, I were you. And hey, be discreet about it, all right? I really can't help you. We don't speak with strangers. What? You, you forgot to tell me this? Well, they weren't important at the moment. Fucking fleas, we just can't get rid of them. No structure, no balls, no knack for business. <laughs> Sounds like we're off to a good start. Ah, don't be a drama queen. You can handle them. Listen, I gotta deal with some customers. Just give me a sign once you got the car.
You're looking for Khan? He's gone. I guess they finally asked him to leave. Asked him to leave, huh? And what, at gunpoint? And who's they? They finally did what my father should have done a long time ago. And it suddenly got really nice and quiet around here, didn't it? You didn't answer my question. Of course I didn't. You're here for the same reason he was. Same reason the bandits won't leave us alone. And we're supposed to trust you? There's got to be something I can do to convince you. You don't have to convince me. I don't care. Show everyone else you're here to give, not just to take. And I'm Eski, by the way. Kyle Crane, Eski. Can you give me some hints, at least? W w what do you guys need? I suppose I could help you out. Just remember, you'll have to return the favor one day. You got it. The groundwaters got polluted a while back. Imagine what would happen if you got our water running again. I assume there is a way to do this? Yes, there is. But it's in banded territory. Several men who volunteered to go there, well, they never came back. So I wouldn't recommend it. Unless you have a death wish. If you do, then just follow the pipeline. Thanks for the hint, Esky. Hey, but when you said they asked him to leave, you didn't... You didn't mean the people who live around here, right? No. These people never actually do anything. They couldn't get rid of Khan for months before. Why would they do it now? Still dodging the question. Still not sure if you deserve an answer. Yeah, but kicking someone out of the community just because he was... rude? Isn't that a little bit cruel? Could be. But there's only a tiny wall between us and a swarm of bandits and zombies and who knows what else. One man's big mouth could be enough to tear this place apart. And you're okay with that? You know, if he can't find shelter out there, he's a dead man. Oh, come on. You're from the city. You know people like Khan, don't you? They always find a way to survive. He'd barter with a corpse if it meant he'd get away from trouble. No point asking what you were arguing about with your father? No. No point. Yeah, but still, you're the only one here who's speaking to me. Well, I can understand their attitude. But I don't have to agree with their methods, do I? So you guys would just rather see me gone? Well, no. Look, people here have gotten used to someone taking care of them. All thanks to the mother and her servants. Servants? Just help the people, all right? Do something spectacular, and soon enough you'll see for yourself. Thank <laughs> you. 